Hi, here we are at the Bears Den in Byron. This is the original home of Team Red. We spend a lot of time here. We love this place. And we feel so comfortable welcoming new members and making sure we all enjoy fitness and fun. Some of the stuff that we do here not only includes going out for a walk or a run, but also includes really getting to know each other, really getting a social outlet as well. Now we're out along the frontage road, and this was a very dangerous place to run, walk, or, or just try to travel. And so since they put in this path, the path along the frontage road has really helped uh, Team Red, it's helped families be able to get to the grocery store, be able to get where you need to be, and you know, stay fit, stay active, without worrying about all the, the traffic. And you know what, the drivers appreciate it too, because they don't wanna hit a pedestrian. So this has been a wonderful addition to Byron and I think we just keep growing as far as our ability to make it a safe environment to be fit. And if we take a look at the space, this is where we gather most of the time. You can see we have our Team Red shirts up on the wall. We have a great um, picture collage of a dear friend who has passed away. Well, Team Red adopted this park, Brooklawn Park, and we refer to it as Melby Park because our great friend and uh, one of the, the spirit of this team, uh, Paul Melby, um, we adopted in his honor and he, he achieved something that was so amazing and it was so meaningful and it was yet the day he died and so it, it, it broke a lot of hearts um, it's such a positive thing to achieve your goals yet it's so hurtful and sad to see him gone but we love this park we take care of this park we make sure it's clean we make sure there's no damage we would report anything if we saw damage make sure the city knows to keep this place in order and then we keep our Beer Mile Championship trophies over here. So we have our record holders, as well as the people who may not have kept the beer in. I think it's kind of important to know that the Beer Mile is fun, but it's also for charity. We've raised over $3,000 for charity over the three years that we've done this. And um, Team Red really thinks that's important. We have a number of charitable organizations that we've raised money for. Another thing Team Red is really proud of is our ability to help young people. Um, we have a youth, youth scholarship that we've created and our members donate money freely <laughs> on their own. They donate money and they say we want to help pay for kids to get into area races. Since we started we've paid for more than 135 kids to compete in races. And we simply walk up and we surprise a parent as they're registering their kid. And then the young person gets to race. And what we really hope will happen is it perpetuates itself and now a family of four who got a couple of free entries can run another race because it's not so cost prohibitive. But now as we look at things with Team Red we're trying to figure out how we keep this going forward and make it even bigger. And we do it while getting a hold of our fitness and fun and it's just nothing more simple and nothing more pure so we really enjoy it. We believe Byron can be the most fit city in Minnesota and we're working toward that goal and what we want to do is challenge our young people to get out there and be committed to physical activity. It doesn't matter if it's running, playing soccer, doing push-ups, whatever you like, but then get the parents to follow that lead. You know, if you watch your kids out there exercising, how are you not going to get off the couch? Get out there, support the kids, support this community and just be strong. Byron is a strong community.